this is the solution to written homework 21. Uh, all that's required after all this language is to evaluate this integral. So the first step is to observe that r and h are constants, and so is pi, of course. So I'll perform a little bit of algebraic simplification. So this will be 0 to h, and then pi r squared over h squared multiplied by x squared dx then pi r squared over h squared is a constant that can be factored out so this would be pi r squared over h squared integral 0 to h of x squared dx and then we can use the power rule so pi r squared over h squared multiplied by x to 3 divide by 3 evaluate from 0 to h <coughs> then we can factor out this 3 to get pi r squared over 3 h squared x cubed evaluated from 0 to h so it's nice that one of the evaluation points is 0 <coughs> so evaluating that that's pi r squared over 3 h squared h cubed so we have h squared uh, in the denominator and h cubed in the numerator. So this is pi r squared h over 3, which of course is exactly what we wanted to show. As a reminder of how we got to uh, this integral in class, so just this column is the answer to the exercise, but just as a reminder, From class, we described if we have a function defined from A to B, so some function. f, then we can revolve f about this axis, and if we do that, so <coughs> in this way, we perform that revolution. the shape that we see will look like this. So this should be symmetric. And then I'll attempt to make it look three-dimensional. So this is a solid vase looking object. The formula for the volume of that solid <coughs> is the integral from a to b of pi f of x squared dx 
And so taking this idea from lecture, we observe that this cone, <coughs> we could draw it in the following way. Take the cone and turn it sideways so that its vertex is at the origin. <coughs> And if we sweep this line around the axis, then that will sweep out um, this cone. So this is 0, x is 0. And then this would be the height of the cone. So that needs to be at H. <clears throat> so this distance here is H. And then we need this distance to be R. And so this is a line y is mx plus b. And b is the y-intercept. And we observe that the y-intercept is 0, so b is 0. And m is the slope, which is rise over run, so m is r over h. So that y is equal to r over h x. So we take this and revolve it around <clears throat> the axis to get this shape so that the resulting integral is the integral from 0 to h of pi r over h x squared dx, which is the integral you were requested to evaluate at the beginning of the exercise.